Hello everybody and welcome to another video from me, David, on behalf of TF Nation, and I want it now. Much like Veronica in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I want toys. Well, she doesn't want toys, she wants sweets, but the message is the same. I want toys because I am a fully grown man working a full-time job and the only thing that I really have to spend my money on is, well, pretty much everything that I need to live but then if there's anything left, I want to buy toys. Specifically, Transformers toys. And I thought that it would be a really fun idea to see if I could build my own perfect wave. A wave of toys that if Hasbro were to announce them and release them, I would have no objection to buying these day one. Now, I have set some rules here. I'm not just going to throw out all of the G1 toys that are missing, otherwise this would just be a list of all of the throttle bots. No, what I have tried to do is I've tried to look at the full range of the Transformers franchise. That being said, however, the newest toy on this list is a character that is, what, 20 plus years old at this point, so perhaps that says a little something more about me as a collector than anything else but that's why you can make your own list now i have tried to make this list based on what roughly hasbro releases so we're looking at four deluxe figures two voyagers two leaders and a commander class that is what i have here i thought about including a haslab but no i thought better of it so what we're going to do is we're going to go in size class. Now, I know people might be saying, well, what about cores? I don't collect core class figures, and generally they are just smaller versions of toys that we already have. They're not necessarily unique figures, unless, of course, we finally get that Dino King from the Dinobots that have been released, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the deluxe lineup. This is four characters that I think would make for excellent deluxe toys. And the first one is going to be my red herring. It's going to be my bit of a weird choice. We're going with Centurion Droids. Now, immediately you might be going, well, hold on a minute, they don't even transform. Yeah, I know they don't. The Red Series shouldn't have died as quickly as it did. If the Red Series had been used as a way to army build characters... I think it would have succeeded. I'm thinking Centurion Droids. Now look, if we could get Quintessons that had alternate modes, I'm pretty sure that Hasbro could create an alt mode for the Centurion Droids. They are part of episodes that I absolutely love, which is the key to Vector Sigma, and while they have been released beforehand, they are very much based on their IDW incarnation rather than their cartoon one. And I think it would be a great opportunity for Hasbro to be able to put out a toy there that is effectively an army builder. You wouldn't just buy one of these, you'd buy three or four or five. I would buy a lot of them. You know, much like a Sharktacon, for example. I think they would be a really good choice. Plus, on top of everything else, they've just got such a weird and wacky and wonderful design. You know, the idea that effectively their eye seems to be in their chest and they've just got this Mysterio dome helmet I think they would be a great addition and one that I would really really like next up this is a contentious one we're going with Beast Wars and we're going with Quick Strike I love Quick Strike he's literally one of my all-time favorite characters and one of the absolute high points of Beast Wars in its later seasons However, the original Quick Strike toy is still incredible. Because it was a smaller scale, it and it had a ton of articulation and still does. Quick Strike currently, the original Beast Wars toy, sits with my new Beast Wars sets because he fits in perfectly scale-wise, he fits in perfectly in terms of his articulation. He's an absolutely brilliant toy. However, he is a little bit more difficult to get hold of. He does break very easily because of the thin uh, clear plastic that was used on him. And I want to see what a quick strike with modern engineering would look like. Would it be better than a toy that was released almost, no wait, a quarter of a century ago? That's a terrifying notion. 
I love Quick Strike. I think it would be great. And let's fill out some more of that Beast Wars shelf. You know, especially that Season 2, Season 3 characters. He's not going to be the last Beast Wars character that appears on here. Going back to G1. Now, this one is a slam dunk because with all the leaks and listings, we know this guy is coming. Sure shot. I'm going to be very simple, very straightforward here. I just want him now. I want to complete my Autobot Target Master collection. It's just one step further to having a complete set. And Sure Shot was the only Autobot Target Master in terms of the uh, three original characters that I had as a kid. And I loved that toy. I loved the weird beach buggy alt mode. So let's bring him back. I, I know he's coming. I'm waiting for him. But I just want him. So let's have him. And then finally... For my last deluxe, we are going to the Unicron Trilogy, and we are going to be taking a look at Demolisher. So, there's very few of the Unicron Trilogy characters that I actually want anymore. We've had Optimus Prime, we've had Megatron, Starscream, Hotshot. I think we're missing two characters, and they are basically on... They're both on my list. Demolisher is the first one here. I love Demolisher. He was the very first Armada toy that I ever bought. And so as a result of that, he holds a special place in my heart. I would like to see what they could do with him now. See if they can change him up a little bit. I think he would be a lot of fun. He's got a weird alt mode tank thingy. Which, would they improve on the transformation? When I say improve, I mean would they alter the transformation that much? Could they alter it very much? Uh, again, with a lot of these characters that I've picked, it's interesting. I, I'm more interested in the discovery of it because the Demolisher toy was great, and it still is even to this day. It's a great representation of the character. I would just be curious as to see how Hasbro would mess around with it. So there are my deluxes. So we've got the Centurion droids. We've got uh, Sure Shot. We've got uh, Demolisher and we've got Quick Strike. Now we move on to our next group, which is our Voyager class. I struggled with these, but I'm I'm still going to stick with my trans with Transformers Armada at the moment. I'm going with Red Alert. Now Red Alert could be done as a deluxe, but I've put him here as a Voyager simply because I know that we're not going to get lights and sounds with them or anything like that and we're not going to get any of those gimmicks however i think it would be a good opportunity to bundle him with maybe a couple of mini cons or alternatively some other hand options some other bits and pieces that i think would work really well with him now the reason that i'm saying bundling with some mini cons is because we've had blaster in this scale and blaster obviously came with well eject and rewind for blaster and billy whatever it was called but red alert i think would be a great opportunity to like i say give us red alert but also give us a mini con now i don't know if you would necessarily bundle him with was it long arm i want to say was red alert i could be completely wrong about that i'm sure people are frantically typing how do you not know all of your mini guns uh, but you know maybe a spark plug or somebody like that I think that would be quite cool. You know, we've had Jolt with the repaint exclusive for Hotshot. So, I don't know. Maybe we do. Maybe we give him a minicon. I think it would be a good idea. My next Voyager, and the last Voyager that we're going to talk about. Now, with some of these figures that I've put in this list, especially with the higher priced figures, you'll be thinking to yourself... Ah, well, where's such and such? Where's such and such? The idea is that this is one wave of toys. So once you know that this figure's been announced, you know that Hasbro is going to have to produce other figures in the same vein. That way I can technically smuggle more characters onto my list. And we are looking at Transformers R.I.D. 2001 Rapid Run. Now, I love the train bots. Again, much like what I said with Demolisher being my first Armada toy, Rapid Run was my first R.I.D. toy when I got back into collecting. He was literally one of the first toys that I bought. And as such, he's absolutely my favorite train bot. And 
The trade bots were cool. I loved the unique concept of a three-person combiner team. That was a novel concept for 2001. And yeah, bring back the train bots. Let's have Rapid Run as our first one. And again, making him a Voyager just means that we're still going to get that big combiner mode once we have all three of them. I wouldn't necessarily bundle him with any, you know, major accessories or anything like that. I think the fact that the engineering is going to have to go into him because he's a combiner, I, I could see that being perfectly reasonable as a, as a Voyager figure. And again, make him a little bit bigger just so that the proportions for Rail Racer really stand out. Okay. So, that's our Deluxes, that's our Voyagers, now on to our Leader Class figures. Our Leader Class figures start off, we're going back to Beast Wars, and we are going with Protoform X himself, Give Me Rampage. Now, again, the original Rampage toy works perfectly well with your current Beast Wars guys. Perhaps a little out of scale, he's a massive toy, but Rampage was just one of the absolute highlights of the season. He was a unique character. He was completely psychotic. Uh, and he just had such a wonderful alt mode. Now, the reason that I've put him in this scale is, one, I think he needs to be a much bigger toy. But also, as well, the vibrancy and the paint scheme that would be required to do this guy really well i think would lend himself to a higher price point not necessarily that he's coming with a great deal of accessories but you know he's got all of the multiple legs and he's got the claws and he's got the gun i think there's a lot there that you could get money out of in terms of a leader class figure where i would just be like yep sign me up all day long let me have that and of course as with Rapid Run, meaning that you would get the rest of the train bots, of course, at some point, you would get a depth charge to go along with Rampage. Okay, only two toys left. What are we looking at next? Next, we are looking at our next leader class figure. I was going backwards and forwards with this. I was desperately trying to figure out, would I make this my commander class it wasn't at the end of the day i decided to put him as a leader class figure because i decided to not include his trailer and i think we go with war within optimus prime now a lot of people might be saying what you didn't pick him as a commander class yeah the reason i didn't is because his trailer like appears in a couple of panels and that's about it so it's not like it's a massive part of his character. What I've said for a while now is that Studio Series, especially with it doing Studio Series from the games, and it's doing Studio Series based on now Bumblebee concept designs, I think Studio Series could also lend itself to artists, specifically looking at designs that were created by comic book artists for comic book series and of course as soon as you start opening the door to that you would open the door to Don Figueroa's wonderful War Within designs. Now we've had some that have sort of skirted the line a little bit. We've obviously got Cybertron Starscream coming out very soon which will uh, sort of which borrows a lot of influence from Don Figueroa's War Within design. I never know, and I've never actually checked this actually, whether or not the, the, the design was borrowed and updated or, or not. But Optimus Prime would just be an absolute joy. I love this design. It's my idea of what a Cybertronian Optimus Prime would look like. Okay, so that's it. We've had four Deluxes. We've had two Voyagers. We've had two leaders. What is going to be our big centerpiece for the year? What is going to be our commander class? And the fact that this hasn't happened yet, I think is a crime. It's the greatest Autobot of all time. It's Thunderclash. Of course it is. Thunderclash is such a nightmarishly garish figure. <laughs> and I wouldn't have him any other way. 
and the fact that he has the trailer i think if you were to modernize this guy give him all of the modern articulation give him leg articulation sort out his proportions a little bit because he was always sort of chest heavy a big toy a big centerpiece for your year and one that i think sort of fits that commander class mold that ronimus mold that alleged 86 optimus prime mold i think there's a lot of fun you could have with that and hopefully one that hasbro would consider releasing at some point but there we go that is my build a wave that is my attempt to create a transformers toy line what do you think about it is there any on here that you would think yeah i would absolutely subscribe to that and i would buy your toys david or alternatively do you think i'm completely way off let me know in the comments down below and on top of everything let me know what your list would be i want four deluxes i want two voyages i want two leaders i want a commander class i want to know down in the comments what you think put them down there put them in order and maybe if we get enough responses i might produce a video and go through your comments and find out what exactly you would do if you were in charge anyway thanks all so very much for watching i hope you all have a wonderful time please give this video a like and a subscribe if you would be so inclined if you're not a subscriber already and i will catch you all in the next video